at Xiaomi's recent event, the company unveiled the latest iteration of MIUI. Yes, I'm talking about the new MIUI 10 update, which revamps the UI and brings a lot of new features, including features from Android P. So what are we waiting for? Let's check out what's new in MIUI 10. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from vivom.com and I've been using the MIUI 10 China ROM on our Mi Mix 2 here. So let's check out some of the most exciting new features in the new MIUI 10. Also, if you want to try out the new MIUI 10 update on your Xiaomi device, you can check out our guide from the link in the description down below. And yeah, before we get started, how about you hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now then, let's get started. Gestures are the new in thing in the smartphone world, so it's not surprising that Xiaomi has put gestures front and center in MIUI 10. The gestures here are the same that were introduced with MIUI 9.5, which by the way hasn't arrived in India. And they're very iPhone 10-ish. But then again, the Mi 8 flagship is iPhone 10-ish. But more on that in a separate video. Anyways, there's the swipe up to home gesture, which works nicely. And there's the swipe up and hold to get to the recent screen. But the best thing here is the back gesture, which again is very iOS-like. But it's also something I wish every Android maker implemented. You can also swipe from the right edge to go back, but I kind of find that counterintuitive. These back gestures also let you multitask. You can just hold your swipe from the left or the right edge to switch between apps. It's a bit slow to be honest, but this is a beta, so we can expect things to get better. Anyway, apart from that, the gestures in MIUI 10 are pretty well done. MIUI 10 also brings a number of changes on the UI front. Firstly, there's a new theme called Rhodium, which has a new wallpaper and new icons. It looks kind of old school and while I definitely see some people preferring this look, I'm not a fan. The notification shade and the quick settings page have been revamped and now look very similar to their Android P counterparts, which is a good thing in my opinion. The volume slider also looks like the one from Android P. It changes media volume by default and there's a button to switch between ring and silent. There's also a button to change other volumes which is really handy. Lastly, there's the brand new recent screen which is now a vertical scrolling page in a mosaic tiled pattern. I like it because one, it looks good and is different. And also this puts more apps right in front of you, unlike the card layout in both stock Android and iOS. This makes switching to other apps a lot more easy. Here you can swipe away apps, Press hold on apps to lock them in the background, enter split screen and check out app info. Honestly, I'm really impressed with the new recent screen in MIUI 10. MIUI 10, like most other things these days, has AI deep in its core. There's AI preload, which is basically MIUI learning a user's patterns to preload an app so that it opens faster when the user opens it up. The apps loaded fast on MIUI 9, so it should definitely get faster in MIUI 10. There's also a new AI ported mode for devices which only have a single camera unit, like the Mi Mix 2 here. The MIUI 10 build we have does not have the AI ported mode for the rear camera, but surprisingly it's present in the front camera and in my brief usage, it seems to work fine. Lastly on the AI front is Xiaomi's new voice assistant, which right now only speaks Chinese and chances are it will only be available in China. Well, I don't speak Chinese, so I have no idea if it's good. But hey, I like the voice here. I was quite disappointed when MIUI 9 did not bring my favorite audio features, the PIP mode and autofill. Well, good news, they're finally here with MIUI 10. Yes, in MIUI 10, I can finally see Google Maps navigation screen via PIP mode, which is so handy. And I don't have to type in my passwords manually in every single app while setting things up thanks to autofill. It just makes things easier and I'm glad these features are finally here in MIUI. MIUI has had a native screen recorder for a while now, but MIUI 10 improves it. With MIUI 10, the screen recorder now has a system sounds option in sound source, which basically lets you record audio from the phone. And that is something we have always wanted. I mean, if you want to record audio with screen on other phones, 
you need a rooted device. I know there are apps that let you record audio from the mic, but this records the audio internally, which makes it so handy, especially for our games videos where we need to show off gameplay with the sounds in the game. So yeah, it's pretty useful. MIUI Labs in MIUI is a place where Xiaomi likes to try out experimental features. And like every other MIUI update, the MIUI 10 update brings a bunch of new experimental features. Firstly, there's Tapless, which I think lets you press hold on an image or a word to get more options. There's also a new super resolution feature, which apparently uses AI to make images crisper in apps like WeChat. Lastly, there's a new car mode, which is basically Android Auto, but instead of Google Assistant, this will use MIUI's voice assistant to help you navigate, read messages, play music and accept calls in your car. That's not everything. There are a lot of other features and changes in MIUI 10. For instance, there's a brand new Manage Apps page which now lets you batch uninstall apps and check out apps that have pending updates. There's a new system phone option in the display settings. There aren't many choices here, in fact, there are none but maybe we will see some new phones here in the future. Apart from that, there's a new quick pay shortcut in quick ball settings, which lets you quickly pay for things. Right now, it only works with WeChat and Alipay, but maybe in India, it will work with the likes of Paytm and WhatsApp. Well, those were some of the most exciting new features in the MIUI 10 update. I certainly like the update, but do keep in mind that this is the China ROM we are talking about. So not all of these features might make it to the global version, which by the way is going to be unveiled on June 7th. Anyways, what do you think about the MIUI 10 update? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends who have a Xiaomi device. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.